Have you ever wondered if it's possible to make x-ray pictures using a magnetron tube out of a microwave oven? Stay tuned to find out. Hey folks and welcome back. Guess what I have planned today? To address a question that came up repeatedly during uh, videos showing x-ray production with this magnetron tube that's been stripped down and had the magnets removed. One of the questions I got was, see if we can make x-ray pictures with it. Let me show you how we're gonna do that. So we have a driver here that runs a large flyback transformer, which I've described in earlier videos. And that flyback transformer output, this is AC. It's gonna be at least 40,000 volts AC. It's connected to the filament. You can see that right here, the filament and the casing of this magnetron. And I've shown earlier that you can make x-rays by passing a high voltage AC current through a magnetron because of the high vacuum inside the magnetron chamber, allowing electrons to accelerate off the cathode and hit the anode. The deceleration of these electrons on the anode produces x-rays. This x-ray screen is flexible and it came out of a regular x-ray cartridge, which I have here. Each cartridge has two of these screens in it, and it's highly sensitive to x-rays, producing a green glow when exposed. So I'm gonna put an object in between the output of this um, magnetron and this screen, and see if we can actually make an x-ray picture of it. This is just regular mineral oil. I'm gonna fill it up, there you go. So it covers the connections pretty well. The purpose of the oil is to prevent short circuiting across the ceramic. So here we have our green fluorescent screen. It's actually not green, but it fluoresces green, which is, the, which is why I think they call it green screen material. Uh, we're gonna have our objects, which are radio opaque, which includes a circuit board, some keys, paper clip, etc. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover that with this cardboard. And this side is gonna face down over the magnetron tube so that any light generated by the tube from, for example, sparking or fluorescence of the ceramic will not shine through this material and show these objects up. So that way we know that it's x-rays causing the fluorescence and not visible light from the tube. I'm gonna place this on top of the cardboard like this. And then I'm gonna point my camera right there and I'm gonna do direct um, video as well as I'm gonna do a time exposed um, video as well. Well, let's get started. First of all, we need to make sure that there are no extraneous light sources. So I'm doing this at night and I've covered up the switch mode power supplies so that the lights on there, those don't interfere. And I've also covered up the light on the driver. There's a a red LED bulb right there, which is quite bright. So I'm putting a towel on top of that. So there should be no light. And then all other lights are going off. And we're gonna begin the experiment. The first thing we're gonna test is just the X-ray screen material itself. So we're just gonna place this on top of the magnetron and the cardboard's gonna between, gonna be between this and the magnetron to see if it actually does produce enough X-rays to make this glow green. Let's begin. Wow, this is incredible. You can actually see the high voltage wire that supplies the tube in the left lower part of the picture. It's getting x-rayed and it's casting an image on the screen. So it's working pretty well. And um, I'm up about probably 30 to 40,000 volts AC on the tube to get this amount of light. Okay, here's the first set of objects to be x-rayed. I've taped them on with some scotch tape. This is going right over them like that to prevent any light shining through the film. And I'm gonna place this on top of the magnetron. Let's begin. Okay, moment of truth. Wow, you can barely see that paper clip too. Just barely, it's gonna get overexposed. Oh wow, look at the intensity. Wow, that last experiment was, was phenomenal. Now I'm gonna try the circuit board, but I'm gonna see if I can view it directly instead of 
doing a time lapse on it. Yep, it produces enough light to see it directly. Now here's a timed exposure. There you can just see it showing up on the uh, film. Now there are too many x-rays and it's burning out. Well folks, there you go. Using a magnetron to x-ray various objects. It was a crude experiment, but I was surprised it worked personally. I didn't realize that I could generate enough x-rays to be able to actually light up a fluorescent screen, but it, 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 it proved it did work. And I do appreciate those uh, people that commented that kind of prompted me to do this because otherwise I wouldn't have tried it. But uh, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please don't forget to check back, hit the bell so that when I put up future videos, you will know, you'll be the first to know about them.